Hi, this is David Wicks, your instructor for EDTC 6432 Computer Authoring. And in this screencast, I want to just share briefly with you why I'm asking you to share the, the specific URL uh, to your blog post uh, when you submit your uh, post for each of the modules. The main reason, from my perspective, is it, it streamlines the grading so that if I can um, have you do this uh, from the beginning, uh, then uh, I'll be more efficient in, in getting uh, you feedback on your blog posts. Once everyone understands uh, what, what, what you're being asked to do and why, um, I'm confident that we'll, um, module two, module three, we'll all be on track and, and those, it'll, it'll go really smooth. But I do understand for those of you that are, are struggling a little bit with what I'm asking, um, I'm creating this screencast to Help you understand that. So I'm here. Uh, this is a student um, called um, Wix Test or Test Wix, however you want to say that. And so just uh, this is a pretend student in the course. So just logged into Canvas and can see that there are some announcements I need to tend to. You should always uh, be checking for new announcements. Always be checking um, any kind of new uh, communication that's going on in the course. Um, as students are asking questions that uh, would uh, benefit you if, if you read um, through all these answers. You'll also always see this to-do list and what's coming up so you can uh, plan your uh, schedule accordingly and test uh, comma Wix is, has not done so well in terms of getting his work in and uh, that's, that's understandable. Um, he's been quite busy with his ed TPA and so we're gonna helpfully get him back on track and so what he needs to do uh, he wants to turn in his module one blog post so he's gonna click on that link that will take him to the the place where he needs to submit this and so it's asking him to copy and paste the link to the website you'd like to submit for this assignment and that could be more clear because I really want the, the specific link to the web page that has the post. And you have an opportunity to add comments. And then here's the, the rubric that's being used. And so you have an opportunity to look through and make sure you're uh, addressing all the criteria. So we'll assume that that's been done. And now you're going to your blog. Um, you're seeing the, the URL. Um, it's not on a specific post. And so if you submit this as your module one post, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to select that, copy, and uh, then go to my module one blog post and paste that in and scroll to the bottom and everything looks good. And so I'm just going to click submit assignment. Okay, so that's been turned in. Now let's go to the course uh, as the instructor sees it. Here I am as an instructor um, looking at the course. And uh, here's test. I'm going to refresh this here so we'll see test assignment. One more time. Okay. So here you see what, what um, as I see as an instructor. As we're looking at this, this portion is just a screenshot uh, that you're seeing here. So if it's done correctly, if, if you um, get to the right page, then all I need to do is look at this and we're good to go. Now, um, it's possible that I could see your entire Module 1 blog post, but it's also possible that your blog uh, will only show like the first couple of lines or I won't necessarily know um, if you've categorized it or not, or if you've t added tags. And so um, uh, this isn't, for me, it's not acceptable. Now, I do have the ability to click on this link and to view the live post, but as an instructor and as a digital instructor, I'm, I'm looking to um, help my students understand how they can help me be more efficient in my uh, assessment. Again, this is not what we would want in, in terms of uh, the instructor. What I want to see when I come here is the exact post that you're wanting to share with me and only that post. 
um, so they don't have to go looking for it and maybe discern it from another post uh, if there's two that are that are somewhat similar. Um, so going back to the student then, uh, now um, we have the ability to resubmit the assignment. So I'm going to check that link and it says that it's now overdue. Any new one will be marked as late. Continue anyway, yes. Okay. And um, just, just so you know, the, the late messages are, are coming because I have a due date for these assignments. And until we get into the flow and, and uh, everybody understands what's going on, I'm not going to take off for, for late work. Uh, so just um, be aware of that. I, I will have some grace early on as we're figuring each other out. You're trying to understand what I'm asking for and I'm trying to, to, to clarify um, in language that, that you understand. So here we are back and I'm going to go back to my blog. So the way that I can get it so that this URL up here is showing exactly what website that I, or web page I want to show up is to scroll down and if I click on the link, the module one, the heading for it, um, that will actually just make it so that up here on top I am seeing the URL that is specifically for that post. So you can see here that um, all of what I have shared is there and you can see that it's filed under uncategorized which um, I've given some of you feedback. It shouldn't say uncategorized. It should be referring to a standard here. Um, so um, test uh, Wix comma test is, is uh, going to lose some points there. And uh, it also should have some tags, but by doing it this way, I will be able to see, I can see that the person has no tags associated with this uh, post, and I'm seeing the entire post right here. So, but this person now to share this, uh, if I click uh, copy, this is the student again sharing it, and then they're going to go into Canvas, and this is what they would paste in here. So, paste that. Uh, in it's that whole URL now and submit that as the assignment so that's been done and then if we go back to the instructor view and we just refresh this so we're seeing the latest version okay now when we scroll down this is just this single post and that's that's really what I want to see so that I can come over here, click on the view rubric, and I can begin to give you uh, both uh, marks as well as feedback on your post. And it's all on one page. And um, in terms of migrating, I won't do it now because I'm not wanting to show a, um, actual students' um, scores or anything, but I would click on this little arrow and be able to move to the next student. So it's, it's very efficient. Uh, for me to do it this way. And as an instructor, if I can help them understand what I need uh, at the beginning of the course, then it should uh, speed up the grading all around throughout the course. So I hope that was helpful information. If you still have questions, uh, please contact me. Thanks so much. Have a great day.